guys, welcome back to the Everything Tech channel, bringing you the world of technology. And today we're going to be bringing you a Minecraft video, and I'm going to be recreating the Farnsworth house in, in uh, South Illinois. I believe that's where it is, South Chicago, Illinois. And it is a modern house. I do like modern houses. It is my favorite style of architecture. And I just saw this house, I thought to myself, hey, we should recreate it in Minecraft. So I just started looking at pictures of the interior, the exterior schematics of what the actual interior of the house looks like and what it's going to be calling for. Now I'm not saying that this house is to scale. I really wish it was, but it's not. An, uh, we're not going to be doing this in an architecture rendering program. We're doing this in a child's video game, Minecraft. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, no, this isn't the house. It's not complete. This is actually the foundation. I went ahead before time and made a sort of uh, foundation. These are glowstone blocks I place here in case we go into the night building. I'll have some uh, light to see now. Based on renderings that I found online of the actual building, this is sort of what I could get out of it. So it might change. I might extend this a little more. Probably not. I think it's just fine the way it is. Maybe this way I'll move it over one block. So this isn't the final image of the building so I'm gonna go ahead and change it as best I can like to fit the actual house I want to build this to not to scale like to the inch but at least something that'll make you say oh look it is the house so let's get our material well, please keep in mind I haven't played Minecraft in a while so I may for I may forget or misname some of the materials but I'll try my best to remember. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and place our stairs. Our quartz stairs because that closely resembles what we're trying to get at with the steel. And I'm going to put them right here because I, they're supposed to go straight down this way and reach to the balcony or the front entrance area which is right here now this is our front entrance area here this is my reference point here is the guest bathroom this is according to schematics that I found online the guest bathrooms right here they call this here the mechanical core I don't know what's inside here perhaps maybe transformers and uh, lights light controllers and here is the master bathroom I might have to make this one square bigger in order to make it look like the master bathroom varying from the guest bathroom. Now back here we're going to be putting the kitchen. This is where the kitchen is. On the side here, hopefully maybe I'll stretch this out one extra block so we can fit the bed because there is a bed here somewhere. Along with down here there is a lounge chair sort of and tables right here along with windows. But the windows are flat. They, they don't really get in the way. And as you can see night came along and thanks to this glowstone here we can still see properly. So let's go ahead and begin. And right here, we're going to make this three blocks high. Let me get more quartz. Perhaps a slab and a full block of quartz just in case we need that. And we are going to need slabs actually. Let me start putting our slabs like so. Oh, why did I break that? <laughs> So basically slabs all right here because it is the entrance area. If you want to get reference pictures for your own build, you can go ahead and do so. I actually have my phone out right here and I am looking at pictures. Oh, I put an extra block here. So I can't really say I like where this is going because I'm not seeing enough of the house yet, but get out of here. Shoo. Ugh, these animals, man. Alrighty. Let me just turn down the volume for you guys. Probably getting some feedback here. Alright. So we are working on the floor right now. I don't want to bore you guys with the commentary. Not that I am good at making commentary. Now, the there are support beams all around this area here. I'm going to go get fencing. If I can spell it properly and see how that works out because we don't have white fences 
we're gonna see how that looks after we're done. Right now we're gonna have to deal with floating slabs. But once we're done with this here, we can see how it looks with, with fencing instead of uh I can't find anything thin that's white to replicate that. Now this here is going to be one block higher than it is here, so it's going to be here. So we can put our stairs like that, so it's going to be one block higher. And slabs all around, but I can't get ahead of myself yet. I have to get finish this first, so I'll be right back. So I got a little carried away here, and I actually finished the front part of the house. Now I'm going to start to work on the other the other part of the house. I was going to do blocks here, but then I took a look at the picture, and it shows that it's they're slabs. So it gives it the appearance of, the, of floating. So judging by what I'm, the progress I'm getting through now, it looks kind of, it looks like it's going to be a nice house. Just at the quartz, I don't like how it's cracked, but it's as close to something white as we can get. I wanted to use cotton, but cotton, well, yeah, no. They don't come in slabs either, so this house called for lots and lots and lots of quartz slab. Now the rain is killing me, and we should see the rain stopping. There we go, there's our base of the house. That's what it's going to look like. And no, this isn't quartz. It's actually made of wood. So I'm going to find uh, the wood that resembles it the most, which would be a jungle wood, actually. So this is going to be replaced with jungle wood. And they do have slabs. So in case I need those. Leave that little opening there for the master bathroom for the guest bathroom. The mechanical core, that's what they call it. What happened to architecture? Back then when people used to actually care about the way their buildings look. Now they just make them out of like they just make them from purpose of making it. Bring back modern architecture. Now I have to say I did enjoy my trip to Palm Springs when I went over the summer because that was a modern heaven over there. Lots of houses are both modern Googie style architecture and those are two of my favorite forms of architecture, Googie and modern because they are all like out there, it's different. Anyways. So, I'm going to get this out of the way. Finish this already. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this, how high I'm going to do it. I'm going to go look at some schematics and see how high the roof should be. But probably around five blocks, maybe. So, here we have two. Maybe four blocks. Since the roof is a slab as well. So it's basically two steel slabs, three actually, three steel slabs. We have uh, the porch outside, the ground here, and our roof. Three steel slabs. Now I was taking a look at the schematics for the house and I saw that there was something right here. I may have to extend this outward in order for it to fit. I'm going to make it three blocks just in case and go ahead and extend the house one extra slab. Now it does get in the way of this tree. I am going to take it down as best I can with some flint and steel. It will in no way affect the house just as long as it doesn't touch the wood here. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself some flint and steel. Oh, there it is. Flint and steel. And Get, get right to it. So here we're going to take down the tree. And I get this slab out of the way. I'm going to make a hole here just so uh, as a reference. So I'm going to start taking down these trees. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. It is dangerous. 
going to kill the root first. Makes it easier for the tree to die. Now I don't promote the burning of trees because we are in desperate need of trees right now. We do need a lot there. So please only keep this to the game. I'm going to take a look at some uh, images to see how they do the front entrance here. I'll be right back. Now I did take a look at some pictures here and it shows that it is all glass. Basically the whole area here is glass. If you take a look at any pictures and you see any different, they're actually just curtains. Most modern houses come with curtains in case you just want some privacy. The curtains just slide. So I'm going to look for glass. I don't know if I should do glass blocks or glass panes. But I'm going to take both and see which one looks best. I might do glass panes because I like how they wrap around like so. Yeah, I'm going to do glass panes. It just looks that much better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The door is also glass, which I'm going to be installing momentarily. I just want to get around. Yes, the door's right here, so I'm going to find out a way to do it. But first, let me just go around the house putting. Oh, and see, the trees do work. <laughs> the tree method of taking down the trees does work. It clears up some space, and that's actually how I cleared up this area here. This wasn't miraculously found like the way it is here. I had to take down some trees because this is a flattest plot of land I could find anywhere. Now you are going to see that there is a tree right in front of the house in pictures. I am going to replicate that and put a tree there. I'm going to be planting a tree. So, I'm going to make this three blocks high, maybe. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to put on the glass. Alrighty, so I just finished installing the windows, and I did come into a little problem here with the doors. The doors and the glass do not match up, leaving a gap. Uh, it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing to me, but it does make this look a little awkward. So, the door placement is... It's based on you, so I might just leave this like this, just to leave the... Because look how bad that looks. See that? I might not even leave doors actually. I just might just leave it as it is. Like that. So now I'm done with the windows. However you may do the doors, it's up to you. And how much of the plan you want to follow. You can even actually just break this like that and leave it like that. And there are your doors. So next we're going to go ahead and install the ceiling. So we're back. I just finished installing the roof and doing some minor cosmetic changes in order to fit what we're about to do next, which is install the beams. It sort of looks like the house because it needs the beams, which is um, crucial. I decided maybe I am going to use this here just like that around the house to support it because it would be an engineering feat. If this whole house here were to be supported by only those six stairs, three up here and three down here, that would be amazing if someone could design a house that would be held up by this. I'm sure it's possible somehow by creating a sort of metal metal um, base down here, maybe a base underneath that would hold, that would just like, basically a base down here that would come out this way in a C formation that would hold up the house but yeah we're not talking about that now so we're just gonna install the beams I'm not gonna make it out of wood because I want this to look as close to the real house as possible so by looking at some pictures that I can find on our friend Google I can I can start placing these beams so we have four beams on the back side which I'm going to match to the front so our first beam is going right here. There is our first beam. 
our second beam I'm going to be placing over here on this side pardon me if the audio changes I am looking at a picture here trying to to see um, how I'm going to match this to Minecraft the second one will go right here yeah right around here I'm doing the back side first because there I, I did find a picture of the back side that gives me a view of all the beams which I will then match to the front because it's essentially the same thing so the second one will go a little bit past the entrance so right here that's the third and the fourth will go right here I'm not sure they match but I'll try to see if I can make them match one two three four five three four one two three four five six and seven yeah they look kind of weird they do match in the picture so one two three four five one so this is a fifth blank one two three four five blank so I'd have to put that one there one two three four five blank there we go they match now wasn't so hard was it so I'll fill this in here now that I have my beams I can go ahead and replicate it on the other side I'm going to actually I'm, I'm gonna see right now if they have any beams on the side which I assume they do so for now I'm going to match this side I'm gonna go ahead and make like a little notch here ha huh, that's funny notch notch was uh, one of the developers for this game for those of you who don't know he did develop minecraft along with some several other people now let me take a look at some pictures for the front because here I see that it gets in the way of the stairs I'm sure there is some exception to that. Ah, I see. I think I might have made some minor miscalculations to this here. Maybe. Hmm. How are we going to do this? I know these ones are correct. It's the stairs that are wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and punch these in. So there's our first one there. That's our second one right here. And our third one right here. Now those notches are going to get removed. I just put them there for reference purposes. So as soon as I find out what went wrong here, I can go ahead and remove them. So I'm going to see if by moving the steps to the side like that, I may have made that miscalculation there. looks about right so I'm gonna go ahead and install these alright guys so we're back I finished installing the beams here or almost I have to secure them to the ground or else it's still a engineering feat all I had to do was just extend this by one block so this was new this is new it used to be up to here with the glass going in that way in order to match everything else and yeah it worked out fine I think I didn't do my calculations correctly which everyone happens to do every so often and it was fixed I also managed to install these beams over here too Let's see if those are done uh, these are matched to the other end here I hope 
six, one, two, three, four, five. This is, oh, no, I don't think this one is. So I'm going to go ahead and put the notches again, see if they match. Now I was looking through some pictures because I did have to do the slab inside. And I call it a slab because that's basically what it was according to just one picture I saw. It's just a slab. So here this one, match, uh, match. Ah, uh, darn it. This one's off by one. These two are off by one. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this really quickly. So that one, take this down. That one right there. Take this down. The other two match properly, so I don't have to take those down. So there we go. Remember when your math teacher said to check your work? So this is where it comes in handy. Now I'm going to get rid of those notches because they look ugly there. And we're going to go ahead and do the interior design. Which should be a lot of fun based on some pictures that I saw and some pictures I'll be referring to in this video. So let's take a look at our work. Yes, our work area is a mess, but as you can see, the house is wonderful. It looks actually quite... <laughs> I'm actually proud of this. I did do these right here, these beams. I'm going to go ahead and match that one to this one here. Oh no, this one didn't have any. It was just one, two three, four, with this one, five. So, that, with that being said, let's work on our interior. All right, guys, so let's get started on our interior. As you saw, I did have some major mishaps here with the beans. Well, not so major, something small, just move it over to the side. So we're going to be doing our interior design. I'm gonna go ahead and start digging in. Now we're gonna be digging in that way. Go ahead and get the wood. Maybe a painting. I'm just going to use the paintings on the other end to block the hole here just so it matches. No. How about I do this? Atta boy. I'm not going to be using the restrooms anyway, so. Oh. Since that's not working, I'm going to go ahead and extend this out one way. Oh, a creeper. I'm gonna keep you in there. <laughs> I don't want him getting messing around with my house. So I'm just going to extend this outward a few because according to schematics it's open like so there and we do have a bed so I'm going to go ahead and get the bed and I'm going to furnace because on the other end we're going to be putting the furnace. There we go. And a few tables here. We're going to get to that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and put that furnace in. I'm going to move this down a little. Two, three. So that's according to the pictures that I saw they took at the entrance here. You walk in and that's what it looks like. Just missing a few tables there. And I'm going to be doing the kitchen. I'm going to take a look at a picture, see how they did the kitchen. I'll be right back. All right, so the kitchen is a little weird. It's sort of like the other end. Whoa, that's a scary looking creeper there. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I have the space over here to do it. But I don't have it anymore here. Hmm. 
What if I put up a sign? Let me see. Sign. Oh no, these are wood. These aren't wood. No, that doesn't look right. I'll see how I work it out. But essentially, this is what the kitchen looks like. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. It's not like I'm going to use the restrooms. It's not like it's real. I'm trying to make this match as much as I can. Anyway, so we have one kitchen. The kitchen, actually. And we have counters as well. I'm going to match those with that. Maybe put a dispenser. And Ugh. it's always raining. Can it be sunny? Oh, thunder too. It's always thundering here. So let me take a look at another picture. They're white counters, so I'm going to go ahead and look for maybe this. There's our kitchen there. Here's our bathroom. We'll go ahead and get a door. If I know how to spell it right. Put that door there. Another creeper. Should have guessed it. And another door here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this creeper right now by going into two game modes difficulty, peaceful, and then go. It did not get rid of him. Oh well. He can stay. He likes it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this door here. And I'm going to get a chair. No, we don't have chairs. It's actually stairs. Maybe this one here so it matches the table better. Slab. I'm going to get this slab here. And I'm going to get fence. That one there. What's this for? Well, I'm going to be adding our table here. Yeah, like that. And then this will go. So that's how it's going to be. Please keep in mind I'm trying to match this as best I can. to the actual design based on what the materials I have. And if that looks like a table, well, it's a table. And there you have it. Try not to get too much into detail. There you go, guys. We just finished building the Farnsworth house. Here it is. Uh, I'd like to give you guys a room tour, but if you guys stuck around the whole video, you guys know what it looks like on the inside. And you can also Google some images and you will find out what it looks like but because I'm feeling nice I'll give you guys a tour now I did give my my view a wide angle view so you guys can see everything in case I miss something but here we go we go inside the house there's our bed I think I missed a bed too and here is our little lounge area this is all based on pictures that I saw in the slab I never found out what this was for it was in the schematics or the blueprints actually I kept calling them schematics but the blueprints this was here so I added it it did not give me any details as to how high it is so I tried my best looking for pictures I found a picture and it showed me it was like about ah, this high and our bed will be right here it is actually a double bed and here is our master bathroom sort of I'm not gonna use it but it's there 
Here's our kitchen area. I saw that I had white counters. We do not have white counters in Minecraft. Here's our stoves, uh, cauldron, supposed to be the sink. The dispenser, I just put, it, put that there for presentation purposes. Here is our guest bathroom. It's funny how as soon as you walk in, the bathroom is there. The designer must have been a problem. A lot of bathroom going. Anyway, there's a house. It's simple. It's a one-bedroom house. Weekend getaway designed in 1945, built in 1945 to 1951. It is near Chicago, Illinois. If you want to go look for, I'll leave a link in the description to their official website. In case you live nearby and you want to compare this to the actual build, you guys can go ahead and do so. Um, anyway, so that's it for today, everybody. Hope you guys like this build, uh, the Farnsworth house. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to where you guys can find information about this house. I did forget the interior lighting. I'll do that later. So if you like what you see, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.